You know, the month of May is all about open wheel racing, but before you know it, we'll be talking about NASCAR and some very familiar names and even a lot of fan favorites. But there's a new generation of drivers quickly becoming household names, too, all thanks to NASCAR's revolution and one Hoosier. There's no mistaking. The palm trees and beaches give it away for a West Coast journey with the stars. Under the Hollywood glare, set your eyes on some fresh new faces wheeling into history. I want us to be their idols. When your dreams start to become a reality, it's, it's really awesome. I think I'm as talented as anybody out there. And it's a dream. And a Hoosier is giving minority and female drivers and crew members that chance. It's monumental when a sport makes diversity a strategic business initiative and the investment that NASCAR has made in the support that they're giving this program is uh, unparalleled. Max Siegel, entertainment lawyer, author and entrepreneur, heads NASCAR's Drive for Diversity program. It began in 2004, but this is the first season, 30 young drivers already with impressive credentials. Daryl Wallace, 16 years old, is a prodigy. From across the country are handpicked to move to Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm living my dream, so it's worth it. And train academy style. Today's time trials are crucial. From the best in the business, meet 15-year-old Daryl Wallace Jr., the 2008 Rookie of the Year in the United Auto Racing Association. You don't want to go hard out right at the beginning, especially with a long race, no pit stops, can't get new tires, no gas. you got to save your tires, save your fuel. And that's what, that's what I've been practicing on, I've been learning. 16-year-old Sergio Pena wants to follow in the footsteps of Juan Pablo Montoya, a family friend. Hopefully I just get a lot of exposure, a lot of experience, uh, positively, so I can, you know, progress in my career. Now 18, McKenna Bell's career began at four, racing go-karts. At first it was a hobby. I started winning championships and I was like, hmm, yeah, I, I like this. I, I think I could do this. Ryan Gifford from Winchester, Tennessee, is chasing his racing dream, too. Everybody that's here and everybody that's a part of this program so far has done a really good job and um, we've all won races and we've all competed at you know really really high levels of racing and we're just trying to take it a step further. Every step or misstep on and off the track is critically reviewed because only the best will make it into the next field. At the end of the time trials, we're going to eliminate half of the drivers. Very loud. That was awesome. From 30 down to 10, the competition to stay in the program heats up as their every decision and strategic move is recorded for NASCAR's new reality show, Changing Lanes. I'm looking to change the face of the sport, but more importantly, I'm looking for racers who can win. And Siegel is the show's narrator. Y'all ready to go? Giving us a sneak peek at the behind the scenes taping in LA. What we have to do is we have to take your comments with a grain of salt. That's way too long. Blair, you're way too close to Michael and emotionally invested, so we have to take your comments with a grain of salt. Blair, I just think you're too close to the situation. You don't have to do these in exact wording. Uh, the first thing is going to be, okay, we're down to the final ten, and now the competition really begins. They're all hoping to be one of the four finalists to drive for Siegel's new NASCAR team, Revolution Racing. I established Revolution Racing to give minorities and women a chance to thrive. As the former president of Global Operations for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Racing, Siegel knows what it takes to train a champion and win new NASCAR fans. And, you know, I think a way to do that is to have the sport reflect the demographic that you're trying to attract to it. And next week in part two of NASCAR's Revolution, I'll take you to North Carolina, where their students learn the business of racing outside of the track from a very familiar NASCAR name. Also, find out who makes the team and the right to run in the Toyota All-Star Showdown.